Yeah, man. Why, why are you so white? I'm not white. I'm not white. You're white, man. You're white too. I mean, I'm black. Black doctor. Black doctor. Hello. All right. <laughs> Do you want to man? Another day in Ghana, man. Accra, Ghana, okay? This is my second time in Ghana. I love it. The weather is so hot. Hotter than Nigeria. You know, just taking some time off. You know what I mean? A lot of people say that travel is education. Some people say that travel is not education. Friends, believe me or not, no matter how much you think you know, no matter how much you read, believe me, it is better to see something once than reading about it 1,000 times. You understand? So travel is certainly a part of education, and I encourage everyone to be a part of it. I just made a post that I am the most traveled Edo youth. If you go back there, you'll read some comments. People fail to understand that we have got to let people live the way they want. Everybody want to give you their opinion of how you should live your life. This is totally not cool. You should let people live their life the way they want to live their life. You understand? I think that's the best way to live, man. And social media gives you an option not to follow people, to block them, to unfriend them. So if you have somebody on your friend list who, do, who you do not agree with, instead of hating on them, just kindly unblock them. You will never see me giving a false opinion, a negative opinion over people's mind or people's uh, way of life. You know, so I let people be because I understand that everybody cannot think like me. Everybody cannot be me. Everybody cannot do what I do. So if you're a young person, I encourage you to let people live their life. You understand? I'm one man that have no problem with gay people, man. A lot of people, I see a lot of people criticize gay, gay people, gay this, oh, it's okay. I don't have a problem with gay people because that's their life. What they do do not affect me, then I don't give it them. As long as what you do, your opinion, however you choose to live your life, do not affect me. I don't care how you live it. So when I say on my post, if you are watching this, on my post, I want you to go back there. You see so a couple of guys there making opinion, but I always have time to comment a lot of people always tell me dion stop responding to people no i don't think that's right i always respond to people not because i'm stupid but because i think that people should also learn that not only their opinion makes sense everybody have a right a wrong opinion and they are entitled to it everybody's entitled to freedom of speech everybody is entitled to freedom of expression it's free so allow me to be free Mm -mm. And of course, you know, for those of you which my lovely wife. Thank you all so much. Thank yeah. you so much. I really appreciate you. I, I, in fact, yesterday you guys overwhelmed me. So many messages, so many calls, so yeah. many gifts. Yeah. God bless you. And of course, we have to take the party to Ghana for Yada. Yes, Thank you so much. You know, all right, give me a kiss. Mm -hmm. Thank the, you for all that you do. Thank you so and much. And you're also going to hate me because my wife gave me a kiss. <laughs> huh? You're also going to hate me because my wife gave me a kiss. So please. Go and kiss your wife. Eh? If you are not, if you are not married, try to marry because it's not easy to marry these days. And a lot, of, I see a lot of people. A lot of people send me inboxes. Hey, bros, I'm getting married. Support my wedding. I'm getting married. Support my wedding. Look, man, if you are getting married, if you cannot afford a big wedding, do it little. It costs less than two thousand naira or ten thousand naira to marry at Oredo. Go there and get your certificate. Having a big wedding is not important. So if you are one of those people that continue to send message to support your wedding, I'm not going to do that, man. I am not. Because if you don't have money to do a big wedding, then you should do a small wedding. Thank God I married my wife before I started my Europe tour. Of course. They would have said <laughs> that it is the Europe tour. The wedding of my dream. Yeah, yeah. Keep making your dream come true. That's how we roll. They would have said that, thank God I married my wife before my Europe tour. They would have said that, do you know Saggy? Uh, uh, nah, married his wife with Europe money. With Europe money. <laughs> Eh? So for those of you who attended my wedding, you seen it. So you know, I did a proper wedding introduction. Uh, what did, what did I want? Bridal shower introduction. Um, traditional wedding. We had the cut wedding in the U.S. We had the white wedding. It was grand. You understand? So, Glory to God. You know, so people will see say the Anosage Europe money. Nah, wah. Poverty state of mind is when young people start to think that a little contribution from here and there is how we survive. A young man that I've been working, I got my first job at the age of 17, 
working at Walgreens Pharmacy. For those of you who live in the US, I was working at Walgreens at 18. I had two jobs working at the fast food place and working at Walgreens at 21. I had three jobs working at Applied Materials, IBM, and driving a taxi. You understand? So, if it, as a young man, if you have not been able to save up to be able to live the dream of your life after 10 years, then something is seriously sick which is wrong with you. You understand? Something is seriously wrong with you. I continue to tell people that this is a fact, okay? Two people, two men, two men of the same age, let's say 50 years old, 50 and 50, okay? One is a medical doctor in Nigeria and I've been practicing for 20 years, okay? And another one is uneducated, but luckily got a visa to the U.S. Believe me, in just five years, the one that got a visa to the U.S. will become more successful than the doctor that will be practicing for 20 years. This is a reality of life, man. So I encourage young people to stop hating. Let people live their life the way they want. If they want to be gay, let them be gay. If they want to talk trash all day, let them talk trash all day. As long as their opinion, as long as whatever they do, do not affect your very way of life. You should let them be. And of course... I continue to appreciate those people who continue to partner with us. A lot of people say, Dion, don't do this. Dion, don't do that. Dion, don't talk about churches. Dion, do like this. If I listen to every comment and everything I do, I won't be where I am today. You understand? I continue to show the world my real self so that the real people will support me. I am not going to let my work define how I live my life. I must live my life the way I am supposed to live my life. You understand? So if you choose to support me, that is your choice. If you don't choose to support me, that is also your choice. At the end of the day, the people that need it more are the people on the streets. So if I don't get support, the people that will suffer it are the people on the street, not me. I will still live my life very, very well. You understand? So that's that, man. I love you guys. And, uh, and don't forget, 100 bags of rice for 100 widows. We have already collected about 20 bags of rice already as of yesterday. You know, our sister in Russia... My friend, favor, and so many people are reaching us 100 bag of rice for 100 widows. Because believe me, on Christmas Day, you will see many mothers in Edo State, in Lagos, every part of Nigeria, who are hawking on that very Christmas Day, just trying to feed their children that day. This means that many families cannot afford to eat on Christmas Day. In Nigeria, where we only eat chicken on Christmas Day. So we can change that notion by reaching out very, very little ways, you understand? We can change that notion, man. We can give more. Let's go for a hundred bags of rice. So we're gonna start that December first when I get back home. This we for Ghana. Was... Yeah, we're there for Ghana, man. Why you know we're there for Ghana? Mm -hmm. I deal with my Ghana TT and they jealous me, jealousy people. Thank you, mom. You understand? So you know, and today we are feeding three hundred people at the Heritage Event Center. So I encourage young people who are who continue to make noise. Do your part. Yes. All the young people who continue to make noise, do your part. Yes, Jonosage is getting support. You too also create a platform where you can get support so that people can support you to help your community. Today, we have served, as of today, we have served over 11,000 plates of food since July 1st. When I started the food program every Saturday, a lot of people thought I could not do it, but it's been long going. So, what if every other youth who are noisemakers on Facebook? Say, okay, I will take Sundays. I don't want to take more the Tuesday. Let's do that. Let's remove these children from the streets. You understand? So my name is Medion Osage. You know, life in Ghana. I love you all. You know? Together we can make a difference. And like I said before, I repeat, the Osage is the most traveled Edo youth. If you want to contest it, contest it. I'm not saying it to brag, but I'm saying it to encourage every young person out there to have a dream. I've always had a dream to travel. I've always had a dream to travel, to go around the world, and I'm living my dream. So if you don't like it, too bad for you, man. Mm? One love, man. One love. Ghana. Peace out. Oh, my, this is babe, this babe too yellow. I bet you all yellow like this. <laughs> um, they teach you the blue shoulder. I'm not, no, no, no. People bad. think my wife is blue. Okay, say, that's my shoulder. Oh, my shoulder. face. <laughs> my neck. You know, they say my wife is blue. Well, they don't know say, man. Oh God bless, no man can cost, man. I'm so blessed. You know, let's roll out. We're gonna let's, check out the spa. Let's go, let's go to the spa, man. My lovely wife. Where, where's the key? Tell me on you. Yeah. 
ask me the only problem bro the only problem i have with you is when you give the glory to hey you don't need to like it i don't need you to like it and i don't need you to support me okay so you two also create a platform for yourself whereby you can appreciate those people who are supporting you and the funny thing is the people who truly support me don't knows complain. knows how much i appreciate them and do not complain as much as you that have not even given us a a a a, 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 a cup of rice God, go and sleep man Mm? But I love you though. So when I talk, I don't want anybody to see that I'm very disrespectful. I'm a very blunt man. I speak the way I feel. If you don't. Tracy Idemudia Foundation, man. I see you, man. We have a program, man. We're going to initiate that once I get home. I've been trying to initiate that on behalf, but of course, many of these guys don't want to work. So when I get home, we're going to initiate our program, Clean Up Edo Program. You know, Tracy, Idemudia Foundation and Gossip Foundation to clean up Edo. I believe that it is we are past the era of just talking. Every Edo youth who are social media warrior should contribute. We, we can initiate so many things that would for the development of Edo State. Okay, if you don't like your community, you do something to change it. Not always ranting and making noise. Do something, make it an impact. Walking children to school. Helping children cross the heavy traffic. When you are, if you live in a do state, if you live in Nigeria, you will see many children who close from school every day. They cross highways just to get home. They risk their life every day just to get home from school. You can be a part of the change by being a, what do you call it, a traffic quarter for the children, helping them cross traffic. That is a big change. It's not going to cost you anything. You understand? Know so for you to be on social media, always typing, ranting, social media warrior. Do be a part of the change. Do something. Find something as little as possible. Help hold people carry load to their house. You understand? Help children do their homework in your community. So it's past, it's past time whereby we start appreciating people who are making efforts. You understand? Be the change you want to see, man. Be the change you want to see. You understand? I've challenged myself to be that change and that's what it's going to be. Nobody can change that. And if you don't wish to support, you don't have to. I continue to repeat it. It is absolutely important that the world hears this. If you don't want to support our work, you don't need to. You understand? And the funny thing is, I have been doing this job before I ever got any single support. I was doing it to the best of my ability, to the best of my capacity. You understand? So if you think that our work is not good enough, you don't need to support. But if you think that we are doing our best, then it's also up to you to support. So we love you guys and we continue to do our best. Love you. We're not going to let anything, any man change our dream. My name is Jeno Sage. For those of you who reached out to us yesterday to Thank wish so to wish my wife a very happy birthday. So many are still wishing happy birthday. Yeah, Thank she's you so, so much. much. I, I love it. you guys. God is sending people to celebrate you in the name of Jesus. Thank you so very much. If now let the prayer, I will you pray for me. <laughs> if you don't work, I will not say God not exist. It must work. Of course. Eh? If not already pray, I want you to pray for me. If it not work, I don't say God not day. Eh? It's always good. If you want to marry a wife, marry a wife that knows how to pray, that continue to pray for of you. Of course, can pray and can slay, of course, uh -huh. right? Isn't that slay, how you say? Slay and pray, you know what I'm saying? Slay, slay and pray. Not be say, you know, you have to marry a wife, we, we not get potential. Where this guy now? Make him carry on, it's more worthless. Let's check out the spa. I want to see the spa. I want to see the spa. Y'all, please go visit We Beauty Fashion and yes, Spa. Yes. It's still open. We're away, but businesses are still open. You yeah. can get your hair. You can do money pedi. Just go over there, number eight C Boundary Road. I appreciate every one of you that has number called. Number eight C Boundary Road. Yes, I appreciate everyone. I, of you. I was listening to some comment. They say, Ah, John came from Europe and opened a spa for his wife. <laughs> that is a poverty state of mind. A spa. How much is it to open a spa? How can a young man? Be over there, type in, say, they open a spa, a, spa, a, a, a one flat but spa. But you can't blame them. They had no idea of you before you, you know, started putting but, stuff on uh, but, like. but a young person should not be so envious of a young man opening but other that's, spa. But that's what we live in today. Other that's spa, not be person to create this Facebook. Somebody created <laughs> this Facebook. It's a billionaire. Somebody had initially created Somebody with a jealous because of spa. I just opened, I, I'm working on creating an event center. Which I put on Facebook. Somebody diaspora, diaspora yeah. event center. Eh? Somebody posted, ah man, Dion man, Europe is not finished. I, I crap on my people. Bro, the only problem I have with you is when you give the glory to Hey, you don't need to like it. I don't need you to like it. And I don't need you to support me. Okay, so you two also create a platform for yourself whereby you can appreciate those people 
who are supporting you. And the funny thing is, the people who truly support me knows, knows how much I appreciate them and do not complain as much as you that have not even given us a, 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 a cup of rice. Yeah, go and sleep, man. Mm? But I love you, though. So when I talk, I don't want anybody to see that I'm very disrespectful. I'm a very blunt man. I speak the way I feel. If you don't... Tracy Idemudia Foundation, man. I see you, man. We have a program, and we're going to initiate that once I get home. I've been trying to initiate that on behalf, but of course, many of these guys don't want to work. So when I get home, we're going to initiate our program, Clean Up Edo Program, you know, Tracy Idemudia Foundation and Gossip Foundation to clean up Edo. I believe that it is, we are past the era of just talking. Every Edo youth who are social media warrior should contribute. We, we can initiate so many things that would for the development of a do state, okay? If you don't like your community, you do something to change it. Not always ranting and making noise. Do something, make an impact. Walking children to school, helping children cross the heavy traffic. When you are, if you live in a do state, if you live in Nigeria, you will see many children who close from school every day. They cross highways just to get home. They risk their life every day just to get home from school. You can be a part of the change by being, a, what do you call it, a traffic quarter, for the children, helping them cross traffic. That is a big change. It's not going to cost you anything. You understand? So for you to be on social media, always typing, ranting, social media warrior, do be a part of the change. Do something. Find something as little as possible. Help hold people carry load to their house. You understand? Help children do their homework in your community. So it's, it's past time whereby we start appreciating people who are making efforts. You understand? Be the change you want to see, man. Be the change you want to see. You know what I'm saying? I've challenged myself to be that change, and that's what it's going to be. Nobody can change that. And if you don't wish to support, you don't have to. I continue to repeat it. It is absolutely important that the world hears this. If you don't want to support our work, you don't need to. You understand? And the funny thing is, I have been doing this job before I ever got any single support. I was doing it to the best of my ability, to the best of my capacity. You understand? So if you think that our work is not good enough, you don't need to support. But if you think that we are doing our best, then it's also up to you to support. So we love you guys and we continue to do our best. Love you. We're not going to let anything, any man change our dream. My name is John Osage. For those of you who reached out to us yesterday to, wish, so to wish my wife a very happy birthday. So many are still wishing happy birthday. Yeah, she's so get back to home. This yeah, why are they for Ghana, man? Why y'all know why they for Ghana? Mm -hmm. I deal with my Ghana titi. <laughs> they jealous me, jealousy people. Thank you, mom. You understand? So, you know, and today we are feeding 300 people at the Heritage Event Center. So I encourage young people who are who continue to make noise, do your part. Try it. Yes, all the young people who continue to make noise, do your part. Yes, Jonasage is getting support. You too also create a platform where you can get support so that people can support you to help your community today we have served as of today we have served over 11,000 plates of food since july 1st when i started the food program every saturday a lot of people thought i could not do it but it's been long going so what if every other youth who have noisemakers on facebook say okay i will take sundays i don't want to take more the tuesday let's do that let's remove these children from the streets you understand so my name is Osage, you know life in ghana I love you all, you know. Together we can make a difference. And like I said before, I repeat, Diano Sagi is the most traveled Edo youth. If you want to contest it, contest it. I'm not saying it to brag, but I'm saying it to encourage every young person out there to have a dream. I've always had a dream to travel. I've always had a dream to travel, to go around the world, and I'm living my dream. So if you don't like it, too bad for you, man. Mm? One love, man. One love. Ghana. Peace out. Oh, my, this babe, this babe too yellow. I you we're all yellow like this. <laughs> um, they teach you the blue show. Do you go think? I'm not. No, no. How about People bad. think my wife is blue. Okay, say, that's my shoulder. Oh, my show. face. <laughs> my neck. You know? They say my wife is blue. Well, they don't know, say, man. Who oh, God bless, no man can cause, man. I'm so blessed. You know? Let's roll out. We're going to check out the spa. Let's go, let's go to the spa, man. My lovely wife. Where's the key? Tell me on you. Yeah. 
ask me the only problem bro the only problem i have with you is when you give the glory to hey you don't need to like it i don't need you to like it and i don't need you to support me okay so you two also create a platform for yourself whereby you can appreciate those people who are supporting you and the funny thing is the people who truly support me don't knows complain. knows how much i appreciate them and do not complain as much as you that have not even given us a a a a, 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 a cup of rice yeah, go and sleep man Mm -hmm. But I love you though. So when I talk, I don't want anybody to see that I'm very disrespectful. I'm a very blunt man. I speak the way I feel. If you don't, man, one love, Ghana. Peace out. Oh, mom, this is babe, this babe too yellow. I you we're all yellow like this. <laughs> um, they teach you the bleach. Show. You don't think I'm not. No, no. How about people think my wife is bleached? Okay, say, that's my shoulder. Oh, my sure. face. <laughs> my you know, they see my wife, they bleach. Well, they don't know, see, man. Oh, God bless. No man can cause, man. I'm so blessed. You know, let's roll out. We're going to check out the let's spa. Go, let's go to the spa, man. My lovely wife. Where, where's the key? Ask me the only problem, bro. The only problem I have with you is when you give the glory to hey, you don't need to like it. I don't need you to like it, and I don't need you to support me. Okay, so you two also create a platform for yourself whereby you can appreciate those people who are supporting you. And the funny thing is, the people who truly support me knows, knows how much I appreciate them and do not complain as much as you that have not even given us a, 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 a cup of rice. Yeah, go and sleep, man. Mm -hmm. But I love you though. So when I talk, I don't want anybody to see that I'm very disrespectful. I'm a very blunt man. I speak the way I feel. If you don't. Tracy Ide Mudia Foundation, man. I see you, man. We have a program, man. We're going to initiate that once I get home. I've been trying to initiate that on behalf, but of course, many of these guys don't want to work. So when I get home, we're going to initiate our program, Clean Up Edo program. You know, Tracy Idemudia Foundation and Gossip Foundation to clean up Edo. I believe that it is we are past the era of just talking. Every Edo youth who are social media warrior should contribute. We we can initiate so many things that would for the development of Edo State. Okay, if you don't like your community, you do something to change it. Not always ranting and making noise. Do something. Make it an impact. Walking children to school. Helping children cross the heavy traffic. When you are, if you live in Edo State, if you live in Nigeria, you will see many children who close from school every day. They cross highways just to get home. They risk their life every day just to get home from school. You can be a part of the change by being a, what do you call it? A traffic quarter for the children, helping them cross traffic. That is a big change. It's not going to cost you anything. You understand? Know so for you to be on social media, always typing, ranting, social media warrior. Do be a part of the chain. Do something. Find something as little as possible. Help hold people carry load to their house. You understand? Help children do their homework in your community. So it's past, it's past time whereby we start appreciating people who are making efforts. You understand? Be the change you want to see, man. Be the change you want to see. Yeah. If they want to talk trash all day, let them talk trash all day. As long as their opinion, as long as whatever they do, do not affect your very way of life. You should let them be. And of course, I continue to appreciate those people who continue to partner with us. A lot of people say, Dion, don't do this. Dion, don't do that. Dion, don't talk about churches. Dion, do like this. If I listen to every comment and everything I do, I won't be where I am today. You understand? I continue to show the world my real self. So that the real people will support me. I am not going to let my work define how I live my life. I must live my life the way I am supposed to live my life. <laughs> you understand? So if you choose to support me, that is your choice. If you don't choose to support me, that is also your choice. At the end of the day, the people that need it more are the people on the streets. So if I don't get support, the people that will suffer it are the people on the street, not me. I will still live my life very, very well. Of you understand? So that's that, man. I love you guys. And, uh, and don't forget... 100 bags of rice for 100 widows. We have already collected about 20 bags of rice already as of yesterday. You know, our sister in Russia, my friend Favor, and so many people are reaching us. 100 bags of rice 
for 100 widows. Because believe me, on Christmas Day, you will see many mothers in Edo State, in Lagos, every part of Nigeria, who are hawking on that very Christmas Day, just trying to feed their children that day. This means that many families cannot afford to eat on Christmas Day. In a Nigeria where we only eat chicken on Christmas Day. So we can change that notion by reaching out very, very little ways, you understand? We can change that notion, man. We can give more. Let's go for a hundred bags of rice. So we're gonna start that December first when I get back to home. We're this there for Ghana. We also... Yeah, we're there for Ghana, man. Why you all know I did for Ghana? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I do with my Ghana TT <laughs> and they jealous me, jealousy people. Thank you, Mom. You understand? So, you know, and today we are feeding 300 people at the Heritage Event Center. So I encourage young people who are who continue to make noise. Do your part. Yes. All the young people who continue to make noise. Do your part. Yes, Genosage is getting support. You too also create a platform where you can get support so that people can support you to help your community. Today we have served, as of today, we have served over 11,000 plates of food since July 1st. When I started the food program every Saturday, a lot of people thought I could not do it. But it's been long going. So what if every other youth who are noisemakers on Facebook say, okay, I will take Sundays. I don't want to take more the Tuesday. Let's do that. Let's remove these children from the streets. You understand? So my name is Medion Osage. You know, life in Ghana. I love you all. You know? Together we can make a difference. And like I said before, I repeat, Medion Osage is the most traveled adult youth. If you want to contest it, contest it. I'm not saying it to brag, but I'm saying it to encourage 